please. All right, so we're gonna just talk through these kinds of problems. And I'm really not gonna spend as much time doing individual problems. What I wanna talk about today is the review unit two is just the rules that we follow, okay? So on the top right-hand side of your paper, next to number two, let's write our rules for addition and subtraction. It helps if I've hit annotate, hold on. Um, so I can write, there we go. All right, so I just wanna talk about the rules for this. Okay, so we're adding. That's the first kind of rule we talk about for, for this. So if we're doing, this is not an addition problem, it's a subtraction problem, we'll talk about that in a second. But an addition problem. When you have like signs, what do you do? Add. All right, so same signs, that was our rule for adding. Same signs. Add. Yep, is an add. Different signs subtract. And that's the answer, yep. So different signs subtract. And specifically subtract what? Negative numbers. Subtract, no, not negative numbers. The greater absolute, the lesser absolute value from the greater absolute value, right? So, for example, we'll take a look at, we'll make one up in a second. Different signs, you subtract. So, we're really looking at the larger absolute value minus the smaller absolute value, right? So, so the larger absolute value minus the smaller absolute value. Okay, so if you have a negative 43 minus 12, it's 43 minus 12, and then what happens to the sign? <clears throat> How do I get my sign on my final answer? Uh, the, the one that's bigger? Yeah, the, I take the sign of a larger absolute value. That's the one I take the sign of, the one that's bigger. That works perfectly. Yours is simpler than mine. All right, I like it. So that's how we add, okay? What are my rules for subtraction? So for my subtraction rules, all right, Gabby, give me the I know. Um, so the subtraction rules are that if it's, if it's like minus a negative, if you add. Well, no, change that again. Let's make it simpler. So if. Keep. Not flip, let's keep change. Uh, yep, KCO. So when we subtract, we can't subtract. We keep the first number. So keep, change to addition, and take the opposite of the last number. So like Gabby was telling you, she gave us an example of keep change up. So if it's this first one, keep the five, change it to addition, what's the opposite of negative three? Three. Positive three, and then you do what? Follow the addition rules. Follow those. Once you get it out of subtraction, you follow your addition rules. Okay, that's why we started with the addition rules, not the subtraction rules. Okay, now it's just practice. I mean, that's it. the numbers I've given you are really low because I wasn't worried. I didn't want you to worry about the calculation. I wanted you to make sure you understood the rule. Okay, we've done a lot of bigger number work. Okay, you've already done like 45 to 50 bigger number problems here on just our minute to minutes, okay? So if we jump past all this, let me get up here. We jump past all of this and we go to our multiplication and division. Are the rules the same? No. no. Well, yes and no. So same signs are what? Positive. Positive, Positive. different signs. Negative. So they're really the same as the addition rules, kind of. I mean, a little different. But our rules for both multiplication and division are the same. Yes. So multiplication and division, same signs. Positive. Signs positive. positive. So it's the same. If, if you can think of it as add to, but we're gonna go, we're gonna write positive. Different signs. Hey guys, thank you so much for being quiet while I talk. Are negative. Okay. So same signs are positive. Different signs are negative. Now, the only thing I can do to make these harder, give you more numbers, or give you bigger numbers, right? That's it. All right, I'll give you a second to write that down, and then we'll go ahead and flip through. I don't have the entire study guide on this one. I'll show it to you the rest in a second. That gets us through all the addition, the multiplication, the division, 
What's the one thing in this unit we haven't talked about? Absolute. Say, it. you're right. Absolute value. So let's take a look at absolute value problems. You don't want to see these, trust me. You want to wait a couple of years before you look at those. Um, that thought was good. No, that was my algebra class. Oh, they really didn't like me today. Yeah, they didn't really like me today. Uh, so actually, they really didn't like me today. That's not the whole thing. Let me get the whole part. Where is it? I know my recording. Well. Thank you. Where's the rest of it? All right, well, all right, the last couple are absolute values. So I'll just talk through those in basics steps. All right, let's take a look. You have the two pages. Apparently, I don't have the two pages saved on my computer. So I've got absolute value, right? Now, actually, I have right Thank you. I didn't even think about that. Um, absolute value problem. What is absolute value measure? It's always the positive The distance from zero. Okay. So if I have a negative seven, yeah, let's do it in this bright blue. Oh. Blue, black, green, whatever you want to call this. Oh, green. What is the absolute value of negative seven? Seven. It's just, it's seven away from zero. Okay. So if we take a look, so that's kind of what I'm asking you for. If I ask you for the inverse, are these inverses? Yes. Yes, the negative and positive make the inverse. Okay. Wait, but what if it was a now, positive? So what's the inverse of positive? Negative. Makes sense, right? So if I take a look at my next one, okay, I'll get rid of this annotate and we'll write on the actual board. Um, my next thing asks me, okay, we've talked about absolute value, we've talked about inverse. What if I have to evaluate an expression? So say I have, let's do this, let's do number eight. So if it says the absolute value of 31 plus the absolute value of negative five, it still goes back to the order of operations. So which one, what do I do first? Am I adding first or taking the absolute value? Take the absolute value. Because they're separate and the sign is on the outside. So this would really be 31 plus five. Plus five. And that, just like Jay keeps saying, is 36. The difference would be, what if I have one like this? I add first, then I take the absolute value. You're right, Caleb. The difference is where the where the sign is. If the sign's inside, I treat them like parentheses. I do everything inside, then take the absolute value. So if the sign is on the outside, I take the absolute value first, then do the sign. So it would be negative. So in that case, it just happens to be 26. Well, 31 plus negative 5 is negative 20 is, is positive 26. What's the absolute value of positive 26? 26. Okay, then I've got word problems. I'm not doing those for you. I'm not that nice. Um, and then we turn the page. Again, this is you guys just reading the basics of absolute value. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys work on those yourself. Now I have the answer key already posted on my JC. When you're done finishing this, you guys can use that to check your work. Okay, if you have questions, I'm happy to make you extra practice problems on any of these. Just come see me in the morning. Please check your work first. If you go, oh, I didn't do good on the multiplication. Ask me for it. I want more multiplication of integers. I can make you as many as you want. Okay, or I struggle with the addition and subtraction. I'll give you some more minutes to win it. I mean, I've got a bunch more behind Je behind Joshua's elbow. Yeah, stay out of there, Joshua. All right. All right. So I don't want him getting any unfair advantages, you know, starting early. Uh, so 